गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज योर निलोफर मैम आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एट योर होम्स एंड योर स्टडी इज गोइंग वेल सो एज यू ऑल नो दैट वी आर डूइंग द सिलेबस ऑफ इंटरनल असाइनमेंट थ्री अवर सब्जेक्ट इज इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड टूडेज वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू वर्कशीट इलेवन विच इज रिलेटेड टू लेसन फाइव ए टॉपिक ऑफ द लेसन इज क्वालिटी ऑथर ऑफ द लेसन इज जॉन गैल्स वर्थी सो इन द प्रीवियस वर्कशीट रिलेटेड टू द लेसन वी हैव डन सम एक्सरसाइजेज एंड इन टूडेज वर्कशीट आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू द रिमेनिंग एक्सरसाइजेज रिलेटेड टू लेसन फाइव ए ओनली सो लाइक ऑलवेज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वर्क यू ऑल हैव टू मैंशन टूडेज डेट इन योर कॉपीज दैट इज ट्वेल्व अगस्त टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन विद दिस यू हैव टू मैंशन ऑनलाइन क्लास वर्क इन योर कॉपीज एंड विद दिस यू हैव टू मैंशन लेसन फाइव ए इन योर कॉपीज विद द हैडिंग रिमेनिंग एक्सरसाइजेज सो लेट सी द एक्सरसाइज differentiate the following words by their meanings so here some words are being given we have to differentiate the words by telling their meanings first word is cot it means a bed on which we can lie second is coat so it means a cloth which is worn to keep us warm in winter season second word is cost and the meaning is the money that we pay for something when we have to purchase something for that the money we pay that is called cost and the next word is coast it is the land next or close to sea uh bank of the river we can say and bank of the sea also we can say third word is got and its present form will be get and it means to receive another word is goat it is a pet animal fourth word is rot it means decay something which is not useful next word is wrote it means a process of learning rather than understanding so it is a process of learning in which uh, someone learns something rather than understanding fifth word is blot it means to make a mark on something and another word is bloat it means swelling of stomach by fluid or gas sixth word is knot to tie two ends or piece together means uh, to tie two ends or piece together that is called knot and next word is note it means something written for the remembrance something that we write to make us remember next exercise you have to fill in your books that is on page number 79 it is uh, fill in the blanks with the given phrases which i have already explained you when we have done this exercise in your copies so before uh, filling this exercise in your book you have to mention the date and online class work also second exercise i have explained you just now we have differentiate these words by telling the meanings now let's see exercise 3 each of the following words contains the sound sh means sh in the beginning or in the middle or at the end first speak out all the words clearly then arrange the words in three groups in the table on page number 80 means in each of the following words the sound sh is uh, there in the beginning in the middle or at the end so we have to recognize and we have to write these words in the correct category so first word is sheep and the ish sound is coming in the starting next is thresh the sound is coming in the last marsh the sound is coming in the last fashion ish sound is coming in the middle anxious the sound is coming in the middle shriek again the sound is coming in the starting shore the sound is coming in the starting fish the sound is coming in the last portion the sound is coming in the middle ashes the sound is coming in the middle shore the sound is coming in the starting nation the sound is coming in the middle shoe the sound is coming in the starting pushing the sound is coming in the middle polish the sound is coming in the last mostage the sound is coming in the last you can see that in all the words the sound sh is there in the starting in the middle or at the end now we have to write the words in the correct category let's see you can see on page number 80 three categories are there it is initial it means if the sh sound is coming in the starting medial it means if the sh sound is coming in the mid middle final if the sh sound is coming at the end then we will write the words here so initial sounds are sheep shriek shore shore and shoe in all the words you can see sh sound is coming in the starting only next is medial category that is fashion anxious portion ashes nation pushing 
in all the words you can see that ish sound is coming in the middle and the last category is of final one you can see the words trash march fish polish mostage in all the words you can see that ish sound is coming in the last next is exercise 4 which i have already explained you we have done in the copies also that the sound of ch and sh is same and we have to uh, fill the uh, spellings with ch or tu so you have to fill these exercises in your books very neat and clean this was your last worksheet of english literature because today we are completing the syllabus of english literature of internal assignment 3 so if still any confusion is there you can ask me on the whatsapp also i'll meet you in the another explanation video of other subject till that keep learning stay home stay safe bye bye everyone